Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on page six. So page seven, I kept going back and forth on whether it was page six or page seven. I'm gonna run a banner across the bottom, but this is page six. Um, and I'll do my best to make that clear on page seven through my editing. Okay, page six. So this is gonna be a really simple one. I'm sure you guys are ready to do something simple. <laughs> since some of the other pages are kind of complex. Um, but don't worry, page seven is, is full of fun stuff. So this is just going to be a pretty basic page. This is cut from the 12 by 12 and I just fussy cut along the edge and I'm going to make this a pocket. So this is our eight by eight pocket page. I'm using the eight by eight flip side to cover the base. And then um, this is going to be the pocket that lays on top. So I'm just going to fussy cut along the edge of the pocket so that we have this nice, interesting shape going into the pocket. So you're going to start with um, an eight and a half. The, uh, I got to think about this. Eight and a half by nine, eight and a half by nine. And you're going to score a half inch on three sides. And I'm going to go ahead and add this on here, and then I'm going to fussy cut around it. And then we'll come back to the base page. So I've inked my edges. Yes, I was ready to put this down. Now the other thing you can do is just lay it down, trace it, and then fussy cut. But I'm okay with cut, gluing it down and cutting around it, whatever your preference is. <clears throat> it's not a very complicated pattern to cut out. Sometimes there's a lot of little details. This is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> okay, so there's the pocket side. I'm going to lay the straight edge on the pocket. Like so. So you can see the pocket's going to reach all the way to the 8 inch side. So it's going to be um, kind of this swoop. And I think that'll be fun, and it's also an easy page, like I said. <clears throat> I'm going to brush this into place a little bit. <clears throat> I'm going to fussy cut this because I need to cut all this extra, uh, all these extra pieces off because we won't need this tape up here because we're going to cut down here. And then I'm going to decide whether or not I want to um, trim this at some kind of a diagonal to make it easier to go into the pocket. We'll decide that after we get done fussy cutting. Okay, I'm going to start cutting. I'm not going to be talking and I'm going to do this um, double time so you guys don't have to sit through all of this. I think I'm going to switch tools down here. Thank you. 
There we go. Okay. I'm gonna um cut oh you know what? Oh that's right, that's right, never mind. I uh just had a small panic. I had done something wrong. Just miter these corners a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> All right, now we are ready to, let me make sure I've got my page right side up. I do. So now this is going to go right on to the pocket page. And then we're going to figure out how to slide this inside. If you want, you can glue this down and then add your pocket. I don't like doing that. I like um, I like my paper to actually be tucked inside the pocket. Okay, this is going on the right edge of the pocket page. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Okay, so now we've got our pocket in. Here's the paper that I've trimmed to go in, and it looks like it's going to slide right in. I don't have any issues. So now it's a question of orientation. I don't know, I think I liked it the other way, this way. So I think I am gonna cut, well, I don't know. So the way to keep it easy to slide in, my, the trick is to put glue here, but on the edge that's actually sliding into the pocket, don't put glue there. And then it's paper on paper, it's gonna slide right in, the glue's not gonna grab. So try to put your glue on in a diagonal, and that will go a long way to helping you. And since it's so deep into the pocket, you don't have to worry about um, anything in the pocket pulling it back out. Does that make sense? I hope so. So I'm going to go here and here. Just do it a nice diagonal. Of glue. Okay. And what I typically refer to this as the um, the leading edge, the edge that's leading into the pocket. Oh, you know what? I put, <laughs> I put the glue on the wrong side, guys. The glue's supposed to be on this side. Luckily, I have a second eight by eight. So I'll trim that out real quick. Okay, bear with me. I'll get some ink on here and we'll get that corrected. Dum dum. <clears throat> so, this is the leading edge. So, this is the glue edge. Simple enough. Because this page is pretty simple, I had that extra sheet, so luckily. There we go. Okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, so the next thing is I've got this trimmed out from the 12 by 12, and it's the little story that goes with this. This is a cut apart. Ugh. I can't remember if it's from the 12 by 12 or the A4. It doesn't really matter because in both cases they are four, uh, roughly four by six. Uh, four and three quarters by 
five and three quarters. So both of them are the same size, irrespective of which collection you pull it from. And I'm gonna turn this into a card. This will be the inside and it's gonna get tucked right inside here. And then the last thing is I've got this little title piece and I think I'm gonna put it right here at the top. And of course, only glue it on one side. So let's add that. So it's nice and simple. Looks pretty straight. Okay, I'm gonna go turn this into a card and it's gonna go into this tuck spot and I'm just gonna do that offline, okay? So I'm gonna make it a bifold. So this will be the cover. There'll be room for journaling or a photo or something else. You'll have the story and then it'll close and be in this pocket. Thanks everybody. Again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Thanks for taking time uh, and spending it with us here at Scrap and Create. Um, if you could take a moment to like, share, subscribe, we really appreciate it. And I'll be back soon.